What's going on? Y'all know what time it is. It's book review time. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, with the body roll. How are you doing today? Welcome to Conversations with Carrie. Y'all, when I tell you <laughs> I have not read a book, I don't know. I had all these grand plans, to be honest, in 2020 to read all the books. You can go back to my channel and see. I'll even list it below. All the books I plan to read. They were all great looking books. Girl, you know 2020 happened, okay? And 2021 was a continuation. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, I refuse to let 2022 to be another continuation, okay? So, I, your girl's been reading, and I'm pretty proud of myself. So, I, I've re read three books. So, we're going to do a book review about three books. And for some reason, the books I was reading were like very like romance and relationship focused. Your girl out here is single in the mug. So I don't I don't know what got into me, but no, I know what got into me. I wanted to read really simple stuff because like work, outside life, everything else had me kind of like, you know, shoulders all the way up by your ears and I had to like relax, relate, release. Um, <laughs> that was my different world um, plug there if you don't remember. Some of y'all too young to know about different world. Um, but anyway, I wanted to just read really simple books. So I did. First book I read was The Cactus by Sarah Haywood. This was recommended from a, um, a a book club member of mine, and she was just like, it's one of her favorites. To be honest, I don't know why. It says, even the prickliest cactus has its flower. So I will say, the storyline in this book was good. It was about, basically, if you've read Eleanor Oliphant, it's completely fine. Imagine that character kind of, imagine if that character was pregnant and having a baby. <laughs> what she would be like. So I feel like this the the main character maybe kind of an odd character and she you know says what's on her mind very literal um, but thinks everybody else is the problem when actually is actually her. But um, anyway, she's pregnant. She had an arrangement which I won't give everything away in the book. And in the beginning, you don't know if she's sick or like going through like a major health issue or what. But either way it goes, her mother dies and her and her brother have this like major feud. Um, and in while this is going on, she's also pregnant. She's been known to be like a kind of a cold, standoffish kind of woman. She's pregnant through an arrangement um, that I'll let you read more about. And this, let me also say, this was a Reese's Book Club also. That's another reason why I was willing to read it. But anyway, so she gets pregnant. She has this whole thing. And she has, uh, her mother dies. Her and her brother are in a feud about it. You know, she ends up falling for somebody. I don't want to give everything away. I'm, I'm, I'm somebody who loves a good spoiler alert, but I don't want to do that to you because you might be interested in going to read this. So again, I really like the storyline of it. If, if you're looking for it, like, I just want to zone out. Maybe you got a little personal vacay coming up or something. This will do it. Uh, I don't know. In the beginning, I thought it was a little slow. But again, also sometimes I'm like, I'm going to run a read around people that don't look like me or don't like have, you know, like let's talk about curly hair and all that kind of stuff. Like, I don't know. So things to think about, things to think about. Now these other two books, black author and about their black love stories. I'm sure y'all have seen a lot of stuff about this. And let me say this, Jasmine Gilroy, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. I support black authors. I'm a black author, a future black author. Come on. Um, as y'all know, I write over on CarrieLee.com, so feel free to go over there. And so therefore, I never want to just like say something negative about another female, especially black author. So I'll say this. These two books, The Wedding Date, which is the first one, and The Proposal. If you like Hallmark movies and you wish they had sex scenes, that's, <laughs> that's what these books are. I um, was a little taken off guard by the sex scenes. That's not really something that I like to read or, you know, I, I'm not really, and they weren't like raunchy, but like, oh, he just happens to do everything well the first time you meet. You just happen to have this amazing bedroom chemistry. Really? I don't know, that, you know what? That's not, that's not what this book review is about. It, it's, it, they are romantic books, which I don't really, again, I don't, this ain't where I'm at in life, so I don't, I don't read this kind of stuff, so again, I will say, if you are like feeling extra lovey-dovey and like, oh my gosh, romance is in the air, knock yourself out, girl. Right now, that, that's just not where I'm at. I'm kind of like, for real, for real, kind of sit to get on for a date, but th that's me, <laughs> that's me. But also just the storyline, they're very quick reads. Um, I think I read, I read The wedding, wedding Date on the Flight Home, 
and I read this I think in it took maybe took me three days three nights just like picking it up and randomly reading it um, before bed so I think the question is would I recommend I will personally say no I don't recommend not because they're not good at writing like again it's just it's just not where I'm at do I feel like they're like fast-paced um, you actually like get to like the character. I love that it's black women who have falling for um, men of other ethnicities, which I think that's very realistic. It's in the Bay Area in LA. Hello, two places I've lived. So again, there's a lot to relate to. So let me say this. It's not that I don't recommend it. I just feel like if this is not where you're at in life, you're not going to enjoy it or maybe appreciate it for what it's for. But if you are trying to escape and if you got like time to kill, like I said, I knocked this out in the flight. Girl, do you, boo? This might be just right for you. It just wasn't necessarily just right for me. But, again, I'm all about supporting black authors. And we need more black women in the romance space. I don't know if y'all remember uh, Zane and stuff. That ain't romance. Like, that's porn. I'm not. <laughs> that's not what I'm about. Um, so I felt like it was just, again, it was like a Hallmark movie. You knew exactly what was going to happen. Um, but it was sweet. It was like, oh, you know, showing characters with these like minor flaws nothing too major oh but you still enjoyed them you know it, it was it was cute it was real cute so thank you so much for um joining me with conversations with carrie i know it's been so long since i've done a book review but i appreciate you hanging in there to hear about these these books that you know they were entertainment for the time when you try not to watch as much tv so i hope you're hanging in there hope you're doing well and i would love to hear about some books that you're reading so let me know down below what's been catching your eye and hopefully you've gone over to carrielee.com and you can do some reading there be sure to like and subscribe check your girl out and let's stay connected take care